so first question from indian polity so which of the following which of the following provisions uh, can be amended by the special majority of both the houses of parliament only and does not require consent of state legislature which of the following provisions can be amended by special majority of the both the house of parliament only and does not require consent of space, uh, state legislature देखिए इस देखिए यहाँ पर मैंने जो फ़ोन का जो स्क्रीन दिखा रहा हूँ यहाँ पर देखिए स्टेट दिखा रहा हूँ आप फ़ोन में अगर देखेंगे तो आपका स्मार्टफोन में आप देखेंगे तो इसको इस इसी तरह से देख पाएंगे अगर आप लैपटॉप में देखेंगे थोड़ा सा शॉर्ट दिखाई देगा तो आप इस वीडियो को थोड़ा सा लैपटॉप में नहीं देखिए आप फ़ोन में ही देखिए ठीक है देखिए यहाँ पर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोविजन कैन बी एमेंडेड बाई स्पेशल मेजोरिटी ऑफ बोथ द हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट जहाँ पर स्पेशल मेजोरिटी में जो प्रोविजन एमेंड किया जाता है ऑफ बोथ द हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ओनली एंड डज नॉट रिक्वेड कॉन्सेंट ऑफ द स्टेट स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर का नहीं चाहिए ओके स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर का कॉन्सेंट नहीं चाहिए एंड जहाँ पर मेजोरिटी स्पेशल मेजोरिटी चाहिए पार्लियामेंट का ओके तो यहाँ पर कौन सी कौन सी तो करेक्ट होगा ओके तो यहाँ पर देखिए फंडामेंटल राइट्स जहाँ पर कैन बी एमेंडेड स्पेशल मेजोरिटी बोथ द हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ओनली एंड डज नॉट रिक्वेयर कंसेंट ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर सो फंडामेंटल राइट्स करेक्ट एंड डीपीएसपी डायरेक्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी एन थ्री कॉन्फर्मेंट ऑफ मोर मोर जस्ट जुरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट नो यहाँ पर ए नहीं चाहिए एंड पावर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट टू अमेंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो ये भी नहीं चाहिए एंड एवोल्यूशन ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल इन स्टेट्स ये भी नहीं चाहिए विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोविजन कैन बी अमेंडेड स्पेशल मेजोरिटी जहाँ स्पेशल मेजोरिटी चाहिए फंडामेंटल राइट्स का और डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स का जहाँ पर बोथ द हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट स्पेशल मेजोरिटी ऑफ बोथ द हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ओनली एंड डज नॉट रिक्वेयर कॉन्सेंट ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर सो यहाँ पर डी पी एस पी और फंडामेंटल राइट्स करेक्ट वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट सो वो ऑप्शन फोर द फेड इज द फेडरल फीचर एंड दस कैन बी अमेंडेड बाई स्पेशल मेजोरिटी ऑफ पार्लियामेंट बट ऑल्सो विद द कॉन्सेंट ऑफ हाफ ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर बाई सिंपल मेजोरिटी स्टेट थ्री एंड फोर थ्री एंड फाइव आर रिक्वेड टू बी अमेंड सिंपल मेजोरिटी नॉट स्पेशल मेजोरिटी ऑफ पार्लियामेंट दिस इज अमेंडेड आर ऑस्ट आउटसाइडेड द स्कोप ऑफ आर्टिकल थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट एंड ओन एंड टू आर रिक्वेड स्पेशल मेजोरिटी ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ओनली ओके एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग सो प्रीमियल स्टेट्स इन स्टेट्स प्रीमियल स्टेट्स इंडिया एज ए डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री इन द इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट सो रेफरेंडम इनिशिएटिव एंड रिकॉल एंड प्लेबिसाइट आर द फोर मेन डिवाइसेस Uh, of representatives, dem representative democracy, referendum, initiative, recall, and plebiscite are the four main levels of, of a respective democracy. So it is uh, wrong. Okay, not it is four. And preamble provides for political democracy only, and not the social and economic democracy. No, it is wrong. So it gives social and economic, political all democracy. so here democracy is is of two part two types direct democracy and indirect democracy so referendum initiative recall plebiscite are the four main devices of direct democracy but here we discuss referendum initiative initiative recall and plebiscite are the four main main derives from democracy of representative democracy but and democracy is the two type direct and indirect and referendum initiative recall and and uh, recall and plebiscite recall and plebiscite or all, all are all are mainly mainly four main directive principles and and representative democracy is also called indirect democracy representative democracy is also called indirect democracy so statement is wrong the term democratic democratic is used in the preamble in the broader sense sense embracing and not only the political democracy but also social and economic democracy also it it also it explicitly specifies specifies uh, justice to be of three type social economic and political justice okay please remember justice to uh, mainly three type okay social economic and political 
please remember next we discuss another question so consider the following statements consider the following statements with reference to the idea of liberalism in this context uh, in this con in the context of indian constitution which of the following are correct so idea of liberalism so, idea indian uh, indian liberalism gives primacy to the rights of the individuals over the right to community indian liberalism gives uh, gives the right to right to uh, uh, gives primacy to primacy to the rights of the individual over the rights of community so it is correct no it is wrong okay so india liberalism not to give the primacy to the rights of individual over the rights of community no over the rights of community it's not correct so rights of the uh, of the individual over the right of community it is wrong okay and reservation of a forestist community in constitution are example of the indian liberalism it is correct so reservation of SCS for SCST community is in constitution is an example of indian liberalism it is correct so two only correct so one is wrong and two is correct indian liberalism liberalism is, is different from classical and western or western western liberalism classical liberalism is more concerns towards the individual freedom and concerns about protects uh, protecting individual okay concerns about protecting individual rights and oppression without by the state or in anyone else while in, in india an individual identity is himself sorry so here uh, here uh, one and two, one is wrong and two is correct indian liberalism is different from classical and western liberalism classical liberalism is more connected towards the individualism individual uh, individual and freedom, individual so classical liberalism is more concerned towards the individual freedom and concerns about protect, protecting individual rights and pro, from op oppression where, whether by the state or anywhere anyone else well in india an individual identifies himself with the community to which he belongs so indian liberalism gives primacy to the demands of social justice and community values this is not to say that individual liberties are neglected it's just that the founding fathers of the indian of india derived derived divided divided from the traditional liber, liberal principle in their emphasis on groups in the groups of individual groups of our individual then the the notion of reservation to different class for instance for instance migrated against the equality potential but it was argued that certain caste and communities had been so discriminated against over the ages that was redress was required so just i see in it okay next question consider the following statement which of the following are correct so discrimination against any citizen on grounds of residence or education qualification is not prohibited by the indian constitution it is correct discrimination against any citizen or on grounds of residence or education qualification is for, is not prohibited by the indian constitution Indian Constitution by is not prohibited by the Indian Constitution. It is correct. As for the Article Nineteen of the Constitution, all the citizens have the freedom of unrestricted movement and residence in any part of the India. No, it is wrong. So one only correct. It is the correct. So Article Fifteen, Article Fifteen only prohibits discrimination against any citizens on grounds of religion, race, caste, sex, place, birth, and not. On the ground of residence, this means that this means that the state can provide special benefits to give preference to its residents in matters that do not come within the purview of the rights gives given by the Constitution of India, uh, Constitution of the to the Indian citizens. For example, the state, the state may offer concessions in fees for education of, for it to its residents. Statement two is wrong. The freedom, the freedom of movement 
uh, and residents under Article 19 is subjected to the protection of interest of any scheduled tribe. In the other words, the right to uh, out, right of outsiders to enter, reside, and settle in tribal areas. In other words, the right to right of outsiders to enter, reside, and settle in tribal areas in rest, is restricted also. In Japan, and also in Jammu and Kashmir, the state legislature is empowered to define the person who are permanent residents of the state and confer any special rights and privileges on them. So next question. So consider the following uh, statement about advisory jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. So Supreme Court is bound to give advice to all uh, on all matters uh, matters referred to it by the president. Supreme Court is bound to give all advice all matters re referred to it by the president. No, it is wrong. So the opinion is given by Supreme Court under advisory jurisdiction is being is binding on the president. The advisory give the, the opinion given by Supreme Court. Okay, under advisory jurisdiction is binding on the president. So it is binding on the president. If the opinion given by the Supreme Court is under advisory jurisdiction is binding or uh, binding on the Supreme Court. No, it is wrong. So both are wrong. Dekhi, answer dekhi. Article 143 authorizes the president to seek the opinion of the Supreme Court into two categories of matters on the way on any questions of law or a fact, a fact of public importance which was has arisen or which is likely to arise on any disputes arising out of any free constitution, treaty agreement, con covenant, engagement of or any other similarities, similar instruments. In the first case, Supreme Court may tender or may refuse to tender its opinion to the president. But in the second case, Supreme Court must tender its opinion to the president. So, please remember, first case, Supreme Court may tender or may refuse uh, to tender its opinion to the president. But in the second case, Supreme Court may tender its opinion to the president. In both cases, both the cases, the opinion expressed by Supreme Court is only advisory. Uh, president is not bound to accept such an advice. Consider the following statement, which of the following are correct. So mainly the question of the disco uh, of disqualification other than the grounds of defection is decided by the president. Yes, it is correct. So the question of disqualification uh, other than on the ground of defection is decided by the president. It is correct. The members of can be nominated okay and then a member can be nominated to Rajya Sabha for any number of times so it is correct and third the term uh, the normal term of Rajya Sabha is six years no it is wrong so the Rajya Sabha is permanent body and not subjected to dissolution so only on the question of disqualification on the ground of defection does not does the speaker decides else uh, for other case of disqualification the president who, can, who takes the decision on the, on the question of disqualification on the ground of defection does the speaker decides okay please remember and second is correct the retreating member of the Rajya Subha are eligible for uh, re-election and uh, renomination uh, for any number of times. Rajya Sabha is the permanent body and not the subject to dissolution. Representation and, and of the People Act 1951 provides the term of office of a member of the Rajya Sabha shall be six year. So, representation of the People Act provides the term of Rajya Sabha so that the term of the office of the member of the Rajya Sabha shall be six years. Please remember. And next question. So consider the following uh, statement incorrect regarding the cabinet. So it it shall be it is a uh, it is a smaller body. 
so cabinet is a smaller body than uh, the cabinet the council of ministers so it is correct it is a smaller body cabinet mainly and then the council of minister and it is the it is an advisory body to the president and gives and, and its advice is binding on him yes it is correct and four it is the it is it is the chief policy formulating body and the supreme executive authority of the central government it is correct but b is wrong okay so because its powers and functions are defined in the constitution so no it is wrong so here incorrect is about cabinet is its power is not uh, its powers and functions are defined by the constitution it is wrong so the term cabinet was not mentioned in the original constitution and was inserted under article 352 in 1978 by the 44th uh, okay it was inserted in article 352 in 1978 by the article 44th constitutional amendment act now also article 352 only defines the cabinet and does not describe its power and function so now also article 352 only defines the cabinet and does not describe its powers and function please remember article 352 also the only defines the cabinet does not describe its power and function so in other words the, its rules is based on the convention of parliamentary government uh, of, as developed in Britain. So, is, uh, in other words, its rule is based on the con or conventions of parliamentary government as uh, developed in Britain. Next question: Consider the following statements, which are correct. So, in the president, in the president of India, who summons and prorogues both the House of Parliament, in the, in the, in the, it is the it is the president. It is the President of India who summons and prorogues both the House of Parliament. It is the President uh, of India who summons and prorogues both the House of Parliament. Please remember, it is the President of India who summons and prorogues both the House of Parliament. Please remember. And it is the presiding officer of the concerned house who adjourns or adjourns side and die. Okay, it is the presiding officer. So president here is so see the correct because it, a president can summon for a parliament and dissolve the Lok Sabha. He can also summon a joint sitting of both the House of Parliament. The powers of adjournment as well as adj adjournment signed D lies within the presiding officer with the presiding officer of the house. Okay, so next question. The fourth schedule of the constitution. The fourth schedule of the constitution deals with the very question of states of the, in the Rajya Sabha, so the states and the union territories, with reference to the following condition. Fourth schedule of the constitution deals with the allocation of states in the Rajya Sabha. Please remember, fourth schedule the allocation of the states in the Rajya Sabha uh, to the to the states of the union territory, with reference to the constitution. Okay. Which of the following are correct? The states are allotted allotted in the states on the basis of the population uh, of the states only yes it is correct out of the uh, to seven union territories delhi and Pondicherry have the only only delhi and Pondicherry and Pondicherry have representation in the states uh, in the rajya sabha yes it is correct and the maximum strength of the rajya sabha is fixed 250 and all members are uh, indirectly uh, elected on from the states and even no it is wrong so one and two are correct please uh, one and two are correct okay so three is wrong because maximum strength of the is fixed at 250 out of 238 are elected indirectly but 12 are nominated by the president please remember 238 are in, uh, elected uh, indirectly yes and but 12 are nominated by the president statement one is correct the streets of the seats are allotted to the states in the Rajya Sabha on the basis of the population. Hence, the number of representatives varies from the state to state. For example, Uttar Pradesh has 31 members and while the Tripura has only one member only. So, statement 2 is the correct. The statement 2 is the correct because out of the 7 empty, only Delhi and Pondicherry have the representation of Rajya Sabha and the population of, the, of other 5 evident territories are also too small and to have any representation in the Rajya Sabha. Please remember. So, one and two are correct. Next question. So, consider the following statements regarding the Indian territories. 
is our union budget in Indian Parliament. Okay, so no money can be drawn from the Consolidated Fund of India without the passing of the application of bill in the Parliament. So no, no money is drawn from the Consolidated Fund of India without passing the appropriation bill, appropriation bill in the Parliament. Yes, it is correct. No money can be can be drawn from the Consolidated Fund of India, Fund of India without the passing the appropriation bill of the in the Parliament. The second is the change expenditure is of Consolidated Fund of India it can neither be discussed nor be subjected subject to voting in the Parliament. The change expenditure of the Consolidated Fund of India can neither be discussed nor be subject. No, it is wrong. The change the the charged expenditure is non votable and by the parliament. It can only be discussed by the parliament. And statement one is correct. So the charge the change expenditure is non votable by the parliament. It can only be discussed by the parliament. Also the following statements, which of the following which so which of the following the following uh, cabinet committees are chaired by the Prime Minister. Which among the following cabinet committees are chaired by the Prime Minister? So, uh, the cabinet committees are chaired by the Prime Minister are, are mainly uh, Public Political Affairs Committee and Appointment Committee. Parliamentary Affairs Committee not. So, mainly, so Prime Minister is. <laughs> Which of the following uh, following cabinet committee are chaired by the so prime minister is uh, chair, prime minister is chaired uh, mainly political affairs committee and appointment committee please remember one and three are correct okay so B is the correct cabinet committee on parliamentary affairs is headed by the home minister and cabinet committee is uh, mostly headed by prime minister. Okay, cabinet committee on parliamentary affairs headed by the home minister. Please remember, cabinet committee are mostly headed by the prime minister. Okay, and sometimes the cabinet minister are particularly, particularly the home minister or the finance minister, or uh, also acts as their chairman. Okay, but in this case, in case the prime minister is member of the cabinet committee, he invariably presides over it. And <coughs> so, next question. <laughs> Select the incorrect statements. Here, the incorrect is B. The nominated members of either House of Parliament participate in the election of the President of India. The nominated members of the of either of either House of Parliament is participate in the election of the President of India. Yes, it is correct. The nominated member of either House of Parliament and participated. In the election of the president of India, it is wrong. <coughs> but is the is the correct? The nominated member of either house of parliament can participate in in the impeachment of the president. It is correct. Okay, and the elected member of the legislative assemblies of states and union territories of Delhi and Puducherry do not participate in the impeachment of the president. The elected member of the Legislative assemblies of state and UT of Delhi and Puducherry do not participate in the impeachment of the president. And the, the elected members of the legislative assemblies of the states and UT of Delhi and Puducherry participate in the election. The elected members of the, the legislative assemblies of state and UT of Delhi and Puducherry participate in the election of the president. So, mainly, so correct is A, B, C, D are correct, but B is the wrong. So, option B is wrong because nominated members of the parliament and state legislature do, do not participate in the election of the president. So, election, election of the president. The president is the elected not directly by the people of people but means of electoral college consisting of the elected members of both the house of parliament, elected members of legislative assemblies of the state, the elected members of legislative assemblies of the UT. The nominated members, so please remember the president is, president is elected not directly by the people but uh, members but by the members of the electoral college elected members of the both the house of parliament and, and elected members of the legislative assemblies of the states and the elected members of the legislative uh, assemblies of the indian territories of the indian puducherry thus the nominated members of both the house of parliament the nominated members of the state legislative 
assemblies and the members both the both elected and nominated the of the state legislative council in case of bicameral legislature legislature and nominated members of the legislative assemblies of delhi and puducherry not participate in the election uh, to uh, of the president please remember so next question which of the following statements regarding which of the following statements regarding uh, minorities minorities are correct with respect to indian constitution so mainly the constitution grants protection to both religious and linguistic minorities it is correct the constitution grants the right to right of establishing and administering education institution for minorities it is correct so one and two are correct and the term minority has now here been defined in the constitution yes it is correct so all are correct one two and three are correct all the statements are correct constitution has not defined the meaning of the term of the, the term of minorities okay so please remember so next question so which of the following statements are correct regarding the article 21 protection of life and personal liberty it is available against only arbitrary execution action not but not against arbitrary legislation no not against arbitrary legislative action it is wrong it can be suspended only during then during the operation of national emergency so no it is wrong okay so article 21 right uh, protection of life and personal liberty mainly so the right to right to life under this article provided for the active and passive ethics no none of them are correct d is not the correct so option a is wrong because after menika gandhi uh, menika gandhi case menika case sc ruled that right to life and personal and liberty right to life and liberty can be derived by a law provided the procedure the procedure prescribed by law is reasonable fair and just it is a similar due process of law so as enshrined under american constitution option b is wrong article 20 and 21 cannot be suspended even during the national emergency so option b is wrong so at so article 20 and 21 cannot be suspended even during the national emergency national emergency and c active uh, and passive euthanasia is unlawful in india it is in march 2019 supreme court made passive euthanasia illegal in india okay saying it is part of free to will part of free will and is the upheld that the uh, uh, fundamental rights to life so here so supreme court upheld that fundamental rights uh, right to life and dignity includes right to refuse treatment and die with dignity because the fundamental rights to uh, rights to a meaningful existence includes a person's choice uh, to die without suffering including terminally ill sc ha has laid down a set of guidelines for living will and defined passive euthanasia and euthanasia as well what passive euthanasia holding withdrawal of artificial life support in case of uh, in uh, in uh, incurable illness germany and canada and south africa also it active euthanasia still illegal okay please remember living will recognized and ex execution you can this said okay so so our question is which of the following are, were introduced or provided by, for by the government of india act 1919 so government of india act 1919 provided bicameral big bicameralism direct election and public service central public service commission and authority to provide provincial legislature to enact their budgets so which of the following are the correct uh, about uh, government of india act 1935 uh, 1919 So it is mainly all are correct. We can only direct election, central public service commission, autonomy to provide provincial legislature to enact their budgets. So all are correct. So here you can see the 1990 introduced the we can only direct election 
uh, that the Indian Legislative Council was replaced by the bicameral legislature consist, consisting of upper house, the council of states and lower house legislative assembly. The majority of, of, of members of both the houses were chosen by direct election. It was the establishment of, of a public service commission. Hence, this, a central public service commission was set up in 1926 for recruiting civil servants. Uh, it separated for the first time provincial budget for the for, from the central budget. Okay, and authorized the provincial legislature to enact their budgets. So next question, which of the following, uh, which of the, which of the following so implement implementation of directive principle of state policy? So mainly, which of the following uh, are the so implementation of DPSP? Mainly establishment of central administrative tribunal. No, it is wrong. It is not related with DPSP. Est implementation of DPSP. It's not. Correct. Okay. Establishment of central administrative tribunal. It is not. Yes. But second is correct. Est enactment of Legal Service Authorities Act. Yes, it is correct. And seventy third amendment Act of the Constitution and for implementation of the land reforms. All are related to DP implementation of DPSP. So only two, three, and four are correct. Two B is the correct. Because central advisory one is wrong because central advisory tribunal addresses the service related <coughs> sorry related grievance of central government employees. It does not implement any DPSP. Moreover, it was established by administrative tribunal. So it does not implement any DPSP. Moreover, it was established by administrative tribunals act 1985, which was passed in pursuant to Article 323A. Second is correct. The Legal Service Authorities Act 1987 has established a nationwide, a nationwide network to provide free and comp competent legal aid to the poor and, and to organize look, look others for promoting equal justice. Statement 2 is correct. The Legal Service Authorities Act 1987 provided has established a nationwide network to provide free and competent network to the end network legal aid to the poor and organized look other laws for promoting equal justice okay and three is the correct three tier panchayati raj system has been introduced to translate the into the reality gandhi's dream of the of every village during republic during a republic four is correct land reforms reduce the inability and lead a welfare lead to welfare of the worker section so mainly B is the correct enactment of legal service authorities act, implementation of DPSP and third amendment act and implementation of land revenue. So with, with reference to the laws of citizenship under the citizenship act, to consider the following statement. So if, if a person renounces his Indian citizens, save their minor children or also also lost their lose their citizenship. It is, correct. it is correct and the application for renunciation or termination of citizenship can be withheld if India is engaged in war, war. Okay, so it is correct both are correct if a person of renounces person renounces his Indian citizenship their major citizens also loses please remember and uh, the application for renounces uh, of termination of, of the citizenship can be withheld if India is engaged in war both are correct so next question which of the following so which of the following are the are the ex exclusive parts of uh, exclusive parts of Lok, Lok Sabha so vote of demand for grants it is the mainly exclusive parts of the Lok Sabha. It is correct. And three is the correct. Revolution of national emergency. So are the exclusive parts. So revocation of national emergency. So one and three are correct. But proclamation of national emergency not. Introduction of the constitutional amendment will not. Creation of all India services not. It is not related with the Lok Sabha. Okay, but uh, three is the correct revocation of national emergency and one is the correct vote uh, demand for grants. Rajya Sabha can only uh, discuss the budgets but cannot vote on demands 
for grant which is the exclusive privileges to, of the Lok Lok Sabha. Second is wrong because Sabha is correct, and second is wrong because procl proclamation of proclamation of national emergency has to be approved by the both the House of Parliament. Okay, so the proclamation of the national emergency uh, has to be approved by the both the House of Parliament. So it is wrong. So three is wrong. Three is correct. A resolution for the discontinuance of the national emergency can be passed only by the Lok Sabha, not by the Rajya Sabha. Four is wrong. An enactment to the of the constitution can be in have any initiated in either House of Parliament. So okay. And five is wrong because it it is the Rajya Sabha can uh, which can authorize the Parliament. It is the Rajya Sabha. Which can authorize the parliament to create all India services. So please remember. I come on both uh, the center and the states. So four is wrong. The amendment, amendment, and amendment uh, of the constitution can be initiated in either the house of parliament. So the, which of the following not correct uh, when vice president is discharging function of president? Which of the following uh, is not correct when vice president? Is discharging function of the president. Okay, when the vice president is discharging his function, the function of president, which is following is not correct. So uh, he continued to perform the duties of chairman of the Rajya Sabha. So which the following is not correct. He it is not correct. He continues to perform the duties. Of chairman of the Rajya Sabha. So, but here a question called uh, which of the following not correct about the vice president discharging function of president? He not to want to do his part from today. Okay, so it is wrong. It is the correct. It is wrong mainly. It is not correct. So B is not correct. But A is the correct. He enjoy all immunities which are available to the president for his official acts. He can pardon of sentence of a court martial, and he can pro promulgate ordinance on the advice of the council minister. Okay, so. We can see vice president acting as a president, he enjoy all the powers, privileges. So option A C D correct. All our powers, privileges of the president. So while acting president or discharging the function of president, if the vice president does not perform the duties of the office of the chairman of the Rajya Sabha during during uh, during uh, uh, this period. During this period. If those duties are performed by the deputy chairman of the Rajya Sabha. So, last question or the president exercises his executive power through through council of minister headed by the prime minister. The constitution has a of India has the executive power of the union in the, in the president in reality the president exercises these powers through the council of ministers headed by the prime minister. So thank you. Next to discuss another question. So thank you. Please subscribe, and I think it will be help to you for better understanding. We will discuss all lot of question, which will be help to you. So thank you.